Awesome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so welcome everyone. I'm kind of looking at all the names here. It looks like I have representatives from every tier, looks like. Uh, so welcome. Uh, the purpose of tonight's meeting was to kind of just get everybody together, get everybody regrouped and also um, uh, reignited and excited about the fall session. Um, although most of you are in tears and uh, have been with me for a while, um, there's, there's always something to be said about the start of a session. It's kind of like a restart. It's a great time to kind of reignite and restart. Um, even though you might not be starting anything new, this is a good opportunity for you to kind of uh, see what's new in the program, see what things are uh, or may have been changed, um, and uh, see what you might want to do to challenge yourself. Um, and as you all know, uh, I like to always enhance the program um, and keep up with trends, uh, keep up with newest research and keep up with, of course, technology, which is always the hardest part. <laughs> so, uh, so I like to kind of have it be a formal uh, meeting where one, I could have it uh, presented and then also recorded for members that can't be here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I put together this uh, actually very brief um, presentation so that I could present it and uh, mostly speak through it. So let me share my screen and pop this open quickly. And here we go. Awesome. All right. So the fall member forecast. And I want you to know, I think it took me longer to name this than it took me to actually put together <laughs> this slideshow. <laughs> I work very hard at naming my little my little shindigs. So, uh, so what we're going to talk about today is getting back on track or restarting uh, for current members. And if you're a new member, uh, this is all going to seem new to you because it is going to be new to you. So uh, you'll just get to enjoy all of the newness. Uh, what that's going to include is accountability and your success. Uh, I'm going to include a discussion on my fitness pal logging and all other support options. Uh, I'm going to also discuss coaching options and also health insurance benefits uh, for those of you that might be interested and eligible. Uh, I have also added a new health form uh, that you'll all be receiving that is uh, HIPAA protected. Uh, I'm going to then talk about our exciting member get you fit box for discounts. And then of course, our 2023 motivational kickoffs for January that I know you're gonna all be super eager to join. So first off, let's work together. Uh, as, all, as all of you know, uh, last week I took the week off to study for my boards. Um, I would go get the stack of books that's over there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think there's like 12 books. And, and yes, I read them all. Uh, and and I, I'm, I'm not complaining because what I learned was just unbelievable. Um, one, I learned that I'm doing a lot of things right. Good job, Irene. But I'm all, I also learned I'm doing a lot of things improperly. Um, uh, and the things that I've been doing improperly um, have, have grown my business, but they've also have not been helpful to a lot of my members. And uh, that, that kind of goes along the same lines as uh, what we often do uh, for our children when we over coddle <laughs> and we over protect and we over nurture. And so, so what I found in, in all of my coaching uh, support books is that there is a, a piece of, of what I should be providing um, that is to enable you to learn. And I, and I know that I, I do a really good job at that, but I also feel that there's an element in that that I could do better. Um, and I think that this is going to enhance your learning. It's gonna enhance your motivation. And I really think it's going to uh, really, really uh, propel uh, your success. 
So, so I've kind of tied it into uh, the program. And of course, um, I'm tying it into my coaching and just who I am. So, so these are the six uh, components. Uh, like I said earlier, we're going to talk about getting on track. Um, uh, for those of you that aren't aware, uh, you're never going to stay on the tracks. And, and that's a message that I want to convey to everyone. Uh, when, when, you, when you register for a program, when you sign up for weight loss, wellness, we have this mindset that you're going to sign up, uh, you're going to succeed, and then you're going to live your happy life. <laughs> but actually, it looks more like this. It's more like, you, you know, you're, you're on the tracks, <laughs> you get on, right? And, and, and it, it takes a while for that, that to stop moving. Hang on, I got to do it with my chair the right way. It's bumpy, right? This doesn't stop probably for what, like th two, three months? Wouldn't you agree? And, and probably around the three month mark, you're like, oh, okay. God. <laughs> but then it starts again when you fall off the tracks. And, and this is the part that is the most frustrating. Um, but, but if you're aware that, that there's going to be bumps and, and tracks that you're going to fall off of, um, it, it, it's helpful for you to know that those barriers are coming so that you can prevent that from happening. And so, so if we go into this thinking that it's going to be this amazing trip once you get settled uh, and you fall flat on your face, um, this, is, this is why we struggle. 95% of people will, will get on the tracks and fall flat on their face. And, and so this is, this is our culture. Um, and so, so I want to uh, spend a little time on that piece, the struggle piece, um, which then, of course, ties into the accountability piece, uh, which, which is the, the prize of this program. Um, I feel that without the accountability, um, this, this program would not uh, exist. Uh, I, I feel that if, if you can't be accountable to me, if I can't be accountable to you, then uh, th there, there will be very little success. Uh, of course, like I said, the MyFitnessPal, um, the coaching insurance, the health forms, and then the buddy bucks. All right, so my role, what is my role? Um, obviously, my role is to guide you. Uh, my role is to provide information and to guide you. Um, so often I want people, I, I have people that want me to give them the answers. And, and yes, I have the answers. I'm, I'm a plethora of information, but I also know that if I just give you the answers, you're, you're not going to learn. And I, I know from the people that I've worked with, uh, giving you the guide uh, to allow you to unravel the answers that will work for you is what's going to get you there. And, and we do this in a, a collaborative way. Um, and so, so often uh, I will have members that will just want me to give them the links and give them the this and give them the that. But the problem is six or eight months later, <laughs> they don't know how to get back on the tracks. And so, so my efforts is, in this is wanting you to learn. And, and as an educator, I always try to teach, uh, to inspire, and to motivate. Uh, and of course, uh, this, this doesn't come without work. Um, you're, you're not going to lose weight. You're not going to be successful without the learning piece. Uh, you will lose weight without learning. Uh, will you keep it off? Statistically, you might not be as successful keeping it off. So, so the learning piece is very important. My role, however, uh, is not to give you the answers uh, or also my role is not to uh, take what worked for you before uh, and apply it to this program uh, because this program has worked for the years that I've had it work and I have a certain protocol that I've set out for the other members. Um, now, anybody that's done the program for, with me knows that I'm always willing to make modifications uh, and exceptions so that it could be applied to your life. 
uh, so that it doesn't take you to the second piece that's not my role, and that is the frustration piece. Um, and, and I really wanna talk about this because if you do get frustrated, uh, your role is to make sure that you clarify that to me um, because this will not come without frustration. Uh, and I feel like I have an amazing relationship with all of my clients, but I also know that I'm sure every single one of you has gotten frustrated with me, with the process, with the program, with my fitness pal, with the calories, <laughs> with all of it. Uh, and, and that is normal. It's a love hate, um, but it's, it's not good to get to that point of frustration where you start having resentment. Uh, and more than not, the frustrations are a miscommunication. So, so uh, for example, uh, you're not understanding something, so you decide this isn't for me. Instead, you're not understanding something, you ask for help, we make it for you. So I encourage people to always come to me if you are feeling frustrated, even if you're just frustrated with yourself. Um, you, if people get frustrated with themselves. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I can't do this. This used to work for me. That's frustration. Uh, come to me and I will help motivate you. Uh, and then lastly, force. Uh, I never want to force anyone. Uh, the, the communication piece of this program is huge. Uh, I, I can't tell you how often I have to ask people um, or remind people how important it is for them to reach out to me, to communicate with me, because it is the essence of the program. And anybody that's done this knows how huge that communication piece is. Uh, and anybody that's been with me long enough knows what happens when we stop communicating. <laughs> there's, there's a huge disconnect, uh, and more than likely, there's a, a drop in, in progress. All right, so your role. What is your role? Your role is to inquire. Of course, uh, I've always, always, always said, don't hold back on the questions. Uh, I don't care how busy you think I am. Uh, I don't care how busy I am. I don't care if I'm sleeping, running, talking on, on a call. You, you are expected to inquire. Uh, reach out, ask question, especially if you're confused. Uh, and, and certainly communicate. And the communication piece, uh, I think, uh, needs some clarification, especially to new members. Uh, it takes a while. Uh, as, as new members join, it's always very like, hi, good morning, 164, you know, super like, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, you know, after a while, then it's like, oh my gosh, and then this happened, and then this happened, and this happened, and that, you know. We, we start really building a relationship and that relationship is important because I need to know what's going on in your role. I need to know if you're stressed about medical issues or labs. I need to know if you're stressed about moving. I need to know if you're stressed about a, a, a dog that's sick. I need, I need to know these things because that impacts all the other. Um, and if I don't know that, uh, uh, then I, I'm over here thinking you're just uh, being non-compliant. Uh, so, so the communication piece is huge. And then furthermore, what makes this piece even bigger is I'm, I am a specialist, not in just nutrition. I'm a specialist in lifestyle skills. I'm a specialist in helping people learn how to take what I give you from the meal plan and execute it. Uh, you all know you can download a meal plan off the internet. You can get an app that's going to tell you what to do, which by the way, uh, according to research, there are over 200,000 health apps available. 92% uh, unsuccessful rate of using them without a human support system. Yep, so, so they work, but 92% of people will stop because they will get frustrated, it stops working, and they, they put away. So, so think about that. Think about your usage of MyFitnessPal. How many of you would still be using it if 
if I or someone else wasn't looking at it, telling you to change things, you are seeing results now. So, whoa, this is working. I need to keep logging. She's looking, I'm seeing results. So do you, do you see how that, that, that all works? Uh, so, so the communication is huge. Uh, but if, if you are having a hard time getting the recipe to your, to your office because you're overwhelmed because of your kids and your work and you're this and you're that, I need to know because I need to help you with the mechanics of A to B. Uh, and that's, that's very important for me to know. And then lastly, participate. And, and I realize how busy everyone is. And I'm an open book about saying how, how absolutely spot on I am about every email, text, uh, blurb that comes to me uh, in my Get You Fit Life but how absolutely behind I am on every other email that I get for any other aspect of my life. So I understand, you know, I understand. I have joined programs myself. Um, I have signed up for, for races and, and done things where the emails come in and I'm weeks behind and I, I understand that. So, so I realize that when my newsletters come in and when my surveys come in that you aren't seeing them all always. I, I realize that. But uh, when you can participate, when you can watch a recording, when you are in that uh, place where you can listen to a, a, a podcast, that is what is going to increase your success rate. Because uh, like I said at the Summer Smackdown, uh, and if you didn't watch that, it's, it's on the uh, 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 webinar page. Uh, when you all came to me for your consultation, you all came to me with the highest points of motivation. Uh, and you were very eager to find your goals. Um, and so, so we, we kind of break away from that uh, as we ease into things. And so, so it's my job, my role to remind you of what your goals are and to remind you to try to try to make time for that participation because it's going to make a difference. It's going to make a difference. Uh, what your roles aren't. <laughs> your roles aren't to hide. And I say this uh, with, with the most compassion because I hide. I mean, I hide. I, I, I hide from my mom all the time. <laughs> I mean, any, any time I, I don't want to, to, to tell her something, I don't want to share something with her, I don't call her for like three or four days. It, that, that is me hiding. Uh, and it, 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 it's not even anything terrible. I just don't, I don't want to deal with it. So, so when your scale goes up or you're not logging or you're not on the plan or, or maybe you're looking at some other you know, plans and investigating some of your hiding, I, I don't want you to hide. I want you to tell me. I want you to be like, Irene, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm not in a good place right now. And my weight's up. I, I need you to help me. Or I just need you to leave me alone right now. I'm, I'm just, I, I'll respect that. Uh, I would rather know that uh, than, than wonder uh, what you're doing, if you're upset, if you're just, you know, I, I would rather know what's going on in your world. Uh, than having you just be embarrassed or ashamed. Because uh, I, as you know, have lost and gained the same 30 pounds six times. And, and as I did that, I was hiding. Uh, I hid that from everyone. No one knew that I had gained that weight. I hid it um, because it's embarrassing. Um, and the very last time I gained that 30 pounds, I, I didn't hide it. I wore it on my sleeve. And that's why it was the last time because I was open about it. Um, when we hide things, it's denial. So, so I'm here to help you um, and, and don't ever feel that you have to hide from me. Um, the second one is uh, a ambivalence. And, and basically what that means is, is you're, you're, you're pushing it away. You're, you're, you're not wanting it. It's kind of like that child that's like, I know I need this, but no, not right now. And I think we've all been at that point at some point uh, where you're just honoring, uh, you know that this works, but you don't want it right now. 
Um, and, and this is a really hard point. And, and I'll be honest, this happens in the second tier. And if, if you are a tier one person, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, this is why tier two is so important because tier two, we, we get very confident uh, and we lose our commitment level and we don't realize it. Uh, then the scale stops moving and we become ambivalent. Uh, and, and we don't realize it until somebody brings it to our attention and we go, oh, really? So that, that's why, and, and, and that is so important to be uh, made aware of. And, and I'm not implying everyone falls into this, but a large majority of people fall into this. Um, and then lastly, the closed mind. And uh, I, I find that people are either closed-minded or open-minded, but a closed-minded uh, person does not want to take advice, does not want to keep doing what worked, um, does not want to uh, follow the protocol, um, decides they want to, you know, stop logging because it's frustrating them uh, instead of communicating with me and saying, hey, I'm frustrated with logging. It's a lot. What can we do? Uh, and I see this happen all the time. Uh, we go back to what we think worked before and we end up falling back into our old habits because it is, it's a very, very slippery slope. Um, uh, we, we get frustrated, we become ambivalent, and then our minds close, we hide, and then we, we fall back uh, at, at, at that start line where, where we came from. And I, I know many of you, uh, perhaps not now, but have been here before. And if it, it's not for weight loss, it might be for, for something else. Uh, cleaning your house, the way you, you upkeep your laundry, we, we just get this way, okay? So, so what can you do to keep on track? Well, this is, this is the easiest, easiest part. Um, three, three things, uh, follow the meal plans, communicate and log, that's it. I mean, it's simple. <laughs> However, uh, the application of these three things uh, is, is where it gets tricky. So, so I'm gonna uh, kind of go into this. So, so how can you increase your success rate? Well, nine times increase your success rate. Uh, and this is statistically uh, by checking in, following the meals and logging. So, so let me talk about this. Uh, you are checking in. Uh, we already talked about, you know, the hiding, the, the motivation, all of that. Uh, oftentimes I hear, well, I stopped texting you because, you know, my weight was the same. I figured you would get tired of hearing the same number every day, blah, blah, blah. Well, now we have somebody that stops texting me and there's no connection. There's no accountability. Uh, this person might stop weighing. What happens when we stop weighing? There's a, there is a disconnect. Um, uh, we, we stop texting because the weight's the same, weight's the same, weight's the same. This person might be like, this, this is wasting my time. So, so why not eat the sleeve of cookies that's sitting there? Again, we've just lost another person. Uh, let's take the third person that's going to text me their weight every day, no matter what. It's the same, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same. Well, what, what, the others don't realize is that I'm going to see the same number six, seven days in a row and say, hmm, so are, are you eating the same foods every day? Are you, are you logging? Are you drinking water? I'm going to start probing, evoking questions, which is going to lead me to asking, hmm, so are, are, are you following the meals on the plan or are you just kind of following the calories? Boom. That leads us to the next one. So, so number two, uh, we all know that it's not about the calories. It's about the meals. And at this point, I think uh, this is no surprise to anyone that you can't just go eating your magical calorie amount. You didn't just pay me to give you that calorie amount. <laughs> it's, it's the meals. It's the way that the meals are, are structured. Um, and, and obviously, part of the program is me teaching you 
how to create your own meals. And oftentimes we, we wanna learn that piece so bad at the beginning that we expedite the process and we, we miss the important pieces of the information that we need. Um, I, I just worked with someone this morning who's been with me for two and a half, three years. And, and I had to send her the essentials chart uh, because she, she didn't know, she didn't know those. And I know she's seen it before. I know she, I've sent it to her before. And, and this is the part where I have, have not done my job. She should know her essentials. Uh, she should know what, how much protein should be in each meal. Uh, but, but somewhere within the process, she, she fell through the cracks. And, and uh, I, I realized that two years ago when she joined, my, my program was not what it is today. However, following the meals is your insurance policy to weight loss success. Uh, if, if you don't follow the meals, uh, but you're locking, then I could see and troubleshoot. And anybody that's ever logged and had had the opportunity to allow me to uh, look at your log and make those suggestions sees and knows how amazing that process is because I'm able to troubleshoot right there. Um, and, and furthermore, just logging itself, just, just that element is going to keep you grounded. It's going to keep you accountable. It's going to keep you measuring and, and on track. Uh, and and I, I'm not going to argue that it is a lot of work. It's a tremendous amount of time. It's a tremendous amount of effort. But if we could take a minute to think about how much effort, time, frustration, uh, years gets put into the process of weight loss. Uh, the, the logging element is, is a, a fraction of it. So, so the, the, the time that it takes to invest in learning log will pay itself off exponentially. And, and you don't have to log forever. Um, you have to log enough to learn the uh, essentials of logging. All right, so that's your 9%. Uh, increase rate. Now let's let's look at the get you fit statistics. So I actually dug this up, uh, and uh, at my at my retreat last week there was all this talk about when, when was the first program? When was the first program? Well, I I, I started writing diets in like two thousand four, uh, uh, probably not legitimately. Um, uh, I, I I didn't have my nutritional uh, certificate, but uh, in, in 2016, I got certified and started writing them officially. In 2017 is when I did my first program where I grouped people together such as this. Since then, I've had 3,800 people do a program, okay? Uh, uh, I I've, I've did the stats. I looked at the, the analytics. Uh, tiers one through three, 93% uh, success rate of people that log. 93% success rate, people that log. Um, and, and I'd actually, I, I'm, I'm gonna wait because my slide's almost done. Uh, Leslie, if you don't mind reminding me at the end to, to just kind of take a heads count on how many people here uh, can agree to a success rate when they're logging because it's, it's clear as day. Uh, when you log, when you don't log, you're in a fog. Um, and, and there's a lot of mental mindset pieces to this. Um, if you're the person that is, is short circuiting in the uh, kitchen because you are so frustrated because you just can't figure out the portions and you're just so angry because they took away the scanner, and, rah, 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 then, then you're using way too much of your energy being upset. Um, we need to reach out to me. We need to figure out a simpler way for you to troubleshoot how you're logging because because you're not going to be able to manage the success of your logging when you're when you're all uh, this this should not be uh, an angry process. It should be something that becomes uh, fluent and easy for you to be able to, to, to get it that easy. And, and anybody that's gotten themselves to that point of understanding it, 1000% agrees that my fitness pal becomes your best friend once you embrace it. All right. So awareness, 
oops, I forgot to delete this. So ignore my little notes here. Uh, it's all about awareness. Uh, your log should look like this, not like this. Uh, and, I, and I do go on every once in a while when I haven't heard from people and I'll be like, hmm, they, they completed their log and I'll check and it's like just blank, 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 blank. And, and it, you know, it's hard because there's always an association between those people and the ones that I don't hear from. Um, all right, so coaching. Uh, many of you have taken advantage of the coaching. Uh, there is a 20% discount for members who want to take advantage of the coaching. Um, I, I did, uh, I, I put this in the newsletter. I'm not sure if you all saw that, but I did push my exam to Monday, um, giving myself another week. And hopefully if I pass, um, once I am board certified, I will be able to take insurance for uh, coaching services and uh, possibly be able to run uh, the nutrition through it as well. Now, as far as some of my other services that I uh, am able to do, such as the uh, metabolic um, uh, assessments, uh, the food allergies, the um, uh, pathogens, the uh, hormone cortisol, uh, many of your flex pays will pay for that and also your HSNs. So if anybody is interested in that, um, my site is not ready for that yet, but um, I've had a ton of people asking me about the insurance. So I'm just putting it out there on this uh, webinar to uh, hone down on the uh, uh, questions on that, okay? All right, so- Erin, can I ask a question? HSN, uh -huh. is that, that's not HSA, that's something different? I don't know what that is. Did I, did I, is it HS? It's HS. Did I put HSN? It's HSA. Yeah, did you mean HSA? <laughs> yeah. Health savings account? Actually, actually, when I was typing it, I, I in my head put, I always say HSN. I must have. <laughs> I'm like, maybe there's a new product I wasn't aware of. No. Home shopping network? No. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so um, with my, uh, with my soon-to-be uh, board certification, um, I do uh, I do have to, and of course would follow um, uh, HIPAA standards, ethics and violation uh, standards. So, so with that being said, um, I will uh, comply to that. And so I'm changing my health history form. And um, I'm actually excited about inviting all of you to include any medications that you're on, any surgeries that you're on, um, or, or any surgeries that you've had and the way that I'm gonna set this form up um, and I'm going to create a, a video that's gonna go along with the form, um, it's gonna be in such a way that uh, if you do go on a medication, say, you, say you are, uh, you're hurt and you get put on a steroid um, and it's gonna be for nine weeks and, and you want to note that, you can just hop on your profile, sign in, go right to your profile and add that medication to your profile so that I could see it. Um, so you'll be able to change your meds, uh, which some of those meds might interfere with your weight, your mood, you know, if you're on antidepressants or you're going off antidepressants or anything. Uh, so you'll be able to update that on your own, which is, which is really nice. Um, and again, it's completely uh, protected. Um, and then also, um, and this, this piece of, of the matter is uh, kind of a complicated one, but um, because of the, uh, the HIPAA, um, I will no longer be able to share um, that I am coaching, if I'm coaching any of you, uh, with others. So, so that piece is, is also going to be kept completely confidential. Um, the, uh, the food programming is different. However, if anybody wants that to be kept, kept confidential, um, I will absolutely keep that confidential as well. Okay. All right. So, Member get you fit bucks. So uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, and some of you might remember back when I was able to do coupons uh, for uh, referrals and then my system took that away. Uh, well, they brought it back in a different form. And it, the form that it's in is in the form of tokens or bucks. And it, it is, in my, in my opinion, a little nicer because I don't have to keep track of it. You won't have to keep track of it. It's automated. So as soon as you purchase something, as soon as you refer somebody, as soon as uh, you, you 
do any of the things that will give you bucks. And these are things that I'm gonna add along the way, um, such as attending a Zoom session. Woo! You'll get bucks. So, so these bucks will dump right into your account and you'll be able to, you'll be able to see this when you log on, you'll be able to go on and see how my, how many coins you have. Um, you'll be able to take those coins and apply them to services. So it could be applied to your next uh, loyalty dues. You could apply them to your next tier. You could apply them to a, a coaching session. You could apply them to a product, a service, whatever. Um, and so, so this is kind of a, a fun incentive for you to, uh, you know, get, get, get some goods for uh, promoting, get you fit and just even promoting yourself. So this is something that you will see coming up um, and it's really nothing that you have to do. Uh, it'll, it'll just accumulate and you'll even get an email saying, um, uh, you, you have 300 points. This is what you can get now. So uh, it, it'll be very easy and mindless. Kind of like the, the credit card things at the stores now where you can put your birthday uh, phone number in and it'll remind you when you get to the cash register how much, how much you have to save. Uh, so, so that will be coming your way. And also I'm very open to suggestions on uh, incentives for this. All right, so the 2023 motivational kickoffs. So um, I'm gonna uh, unshare myself. Uh, so the, uh, the, the start of the year, what I always like to do at the beginning of the year is a really big uh, kickoff for weight loss. And I did the 28 day that I just completed. Um, what I'm gonna do for the January one is gonna be a, kind of a really big, extravaganza. Um, how many of you here were here for the last January one? Mm, okay. Uh, how many of you, I'm trying to, I think I could see. So the one that I did two years ago, uh, the 2021, the Betty bus driver one. Uh, and then last year was the restoration Island one. Okay, so typically what I do is I create a really big, uh, almost virtual like um, uh, game like weight loss strategy uh, that's much like the 28 day, but the 28 day did not have all of those elements built into it. Um, and the reason I'm bringing this up is that the January uh, uh, regimen is going to be geared toward those foods. Now I tried this last year and I didn't get much of a response. So this year I'm putting it out there in video and I have however many of you here uh, as witnesses. I would really appreciate if I could get some feedback on recipe ideas for the January uh, extravaganza, okay? Um, because that piece is the easy piece for me. Um, Leslie, as you know, has been, or if you don't know, Leslie has been helping me uh, with some blog ideas and our system is being worked on. And I think we've finally nailed it. Um, uh, basically she will find a recipe uh, and I will modify it. And th this is how I create all my recipes. So if you see a recipe that you think, hey, this would be a great one to have on the 2023 um, I haven't, I haven't named it yet. <laughs> um, uh, send me the link, just shoot it, shoot it in a text. Or even if you want to send it to, to uh, Leslie, even. Um, I want to start accumulating these. I want to start remaking them um, because that piece of it is the least of my worries. Um, the, the piece that is going to uh, cost me the most time, effort, creativity is the elements of of motivation, uh, the elements of getting you excited, getting you moving, getting you tracking, getting you drinking water, getting you learning. Um, and so, so I wanted to kind of open that up to all of you. And uh, the next piece that I wanted to, to talk about, um, all of you that did the 20, uh, the 28 day, um, uh, and I, I did kind of mention this, um, with, with the people that did the 28 day, I've, I noticed that a lot of people um, downloaded it, did it, kind of did it, didn't really do it. Um, and, and there's been, there's a lot of work that I put into this, clearly. 
Um, and so I, I don't ask uh, for members to pay for the 28 day, um, but I do, I'm really wanting a big rally of you to do this in January. Um, and so, so what I'm proposing is uh, on the Facebook page, um, start building it up. I really want a, a lot of excitement. Um, I know we have to get through Halloween. We have to get through Thanksgiving. We have to get through Christmas, but uh, keep your mind on that January because uh, we're not going to gain weight to get us to January. Um, we are going to maintain, keep losing, keep focusing on our goals, um, many of you are at that point right now where you're like, you know what, I feel really good. I, I am fine with getting through October, November, December with less intensity. Um, I'm going to hit it really hard in January. Uh, and, and that's a great mindset to have. But the mindset that you shouldn't have is it's Halloween Monday. I'm going to eat candy because then it's Thanksgiving. And Irene's doing a, a big January thing and I'm going to lose my 10 pounds. Um, because I'm so programmed to, to uh, expect flocks of people in January, and, and I would prefer to see a stream of collective people that are not frantically um, uh, trying to get themselves together in December. Uh, and, there, and there's been a lot of research that indicates, and I did a, a podcast on this last year, this is a global study. Uh, they did this in five countries. Most people gain their weight after the holiday, not before. That eight pound weight gain occurs after. Any guesses why? Because they have gained maybe a couple pounds. They get on the scale after the holidays because they're going to face the music because it's time. They see the damage. They feel horrible. There's cookies laying around the house. The, the hoopla of the media of what's coming in January, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. We become submerged in this, this uh, I'm just going to do it in January. I'm just going to do it in January. So, so now we've seen our weight is up. We're in self-sabotage mode. We have cookies, we still have parties and, and we dive in. And, and most people will gain their weight December 26th to, to December 31st. I will, I will pull the study. It's, it's, it's fascinating. So, so don't let yourself fall in that window. Um, uh, I'm gonna be doing webinars coming up on getting through the holidays and you can enjoy without destroying so okay all right so that's all i got any uh questions or comments or reactions i have a reminder for you but i saw a hand up earlier i don't remember who it was though hand up any questions no maybe it was answered So you wanted to know who has better success when they log. Oh, yes. Uh, any, anybody want to uh, comment on that? Better success? I mean, I, mean I can tell you I 100% do. 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So share, share your, uh, so those of you that don't know Leslie, um, Leslie's been with me since 2018. Uh, she was in the second program that I did, and I'll let you take over from here. Yeah, it says Thomas on here. That's not my real name. That's, <laughs> that's my husband's laptop. Um, yeah, I started in 2018. Um, I, I hit my goal weight, you know, within the first tier, within the first three months. Um, but what happens, you know, over the past four and a half years is I fluctuate like everybody else. I fall off the logging. I eat things that maybe shouldn't. I drink things that maybe have calories. Um, and every time I start to creep up to a point that's personally not acceptable to me, when I go back to logging and being diligent about it, I fall right back into those good habits and the weight comes off. Um, 
I know Irene talks about, you know, a lot of us talk about the beauty of this program being that just because you slip up doesn't mean you have to go completely off the rails and you don't. Um, I've gained, especially around the holidays, um, it's my busy season at my job. Sometimes at 16 hour days, seven days a week, I don't eat well and I'm having a glass of wine every night. Um, but I know that I can reverse that and logging helps me every single time, every time. And my fitness pal, take the time to put your recipes in there. Take your time to make the meals you you know, the combinations of things that you normally eat together, like breakfasts and things, you can make those as meals. It just goes so much faster when you have everything in there. Yep. My PSA. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, could, could I, I, I always hate to uh, put people on the spot, but I, I think I know you all enough to know who, who doesn't mind. Uh, one, of my, one of my favorite, favorite success stories um, uh, who, who really had a hard time with fitness pal. Um, and, and I think even just the whole program, um, uh, Chris Timmons, do you mind speaking? Let me, let me unmute you. I found that when I followed the same thing she did, if I did my fitness pal, it made me stay in line and I could actually see what I was taking. Once you say, oh, I haven't had the time to put the combo meal in there, so I'll just skip it. Well, that's when it starts to skip up and move up and you lose track, so. Yep, yep. And, and the reason I, I wanted you to uh, share is uh, particularly, um, if you don't mind sharing, can you, can you share uh, your success rate um, when you were communicating daily, um, once you started that and when you weren't, because I know at tier one, you really weren't communicating as much. And then tier two, we, we sparked our, our magical relationship and what happened? Well, uh, tier one, I had the mindset of, I'm not going to bother her. She doesn't really need to know that I've gone up, gone down. And it didn't seem like it made a big deal. But the good part when I started doing it was you'd say, well, you saw that number before. It will be back. Just pay attention to what you're doing. And, and it does make a whole difference. But yeah, learning to do the My Fitness Pal is a pain. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's an easy way to do it, especially if you are you know, making combo meals and you have to sit there and put it all in. And they don't always have my ingredient. And then I'm guessing. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, once you once you do it, it, it does. I mean, I just spent five days down in uh, St. Louis with no scale and I didn't do fitness pill because I was eating things that I had no clue it was in them. Mm -hmm. And I got home and surprisingly enough, it was not that much of a difference. So uh, within two days, I've slipped back down to where I left. And um, the thing that really catches me is when I have two glasses of wine. You know, that's when I go, oh, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, so. I would never say that to you. <laughs> well, I have to figure out <laughs> where else do I cut those calories because, you know, the wine is much better. And so because the liquid, it goes down. But yeah, the, the fitness pal does make a difference. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's, it just works. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. Thank you so much for sharing so much. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Tina. I'd love to hear you share uh, your your experience. Since you uh, you were never able to lose weight, and I know you're logging, and I know it was frustrating for you because I remember those texts at tier one, like. <laughs> so uh, why don't you share your 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 experience on that? Well, I I do log. I'm constantly logging, but. Um... Sometimes I don't get my five meals in. I'm just kind of like, do I squeeze that last meal in or not? And then I've lost, I've lost a lot of weight on this program. It's just amazing. I find it amazing that how, I mean, cause I've been on other diets forever and just basically had never gone, you know, lower than two, three pounds. But on this program, I'm, you know, I'm, it's just amazing how all the different nutrients work together to help you lose weight. If you if you stay on plan, basically. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So but I like the yeah, and I like the fact because um, I do I do text you every morning. I get on the scale, 
text you the weight and, you know, I've hit a low weight, but then if I go up a couple more pounds, I get really frustrated and you, and you'll say, well, you saw that low weight and that's where that's your weight. You mm -hmm. just never know what else has, has affected you yeah. to gain those other few pounds. And sure enough, I will go back and hit that lower weight. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and a piece of this that people don't realize is in, and, and, and I, 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 I think there's some new people here that um, absolutely need to hear this is we assume that our weight's going to be the same every day and it, it, it's just not. And it's, until it's not. Yeah. Until you're dieting, you don't get on the scale every day. So you don't see that, but you, you know, our bodies are, are made of a, a vast amount of tissue and, and uh, you know, digestive enzymes. And, and so, you know, if you, if you eat something and it's not digested and you get on the scale the next day, you know, you got a bunch of raw broccoli in your stomach. You're, that's what you're weighing. You know, you shouldn't panic and get all mad because now your cortisol just went up and you're, you're angry because the scale's up two pounds when you shouldn't be, you've done everything right. And, and this is why I tell people your affirmation should be, I've done everything. You've done everything right. Why are you upset? Right. right. And as you said, what is point, point 0.4 pound, really? Don't get exactly. so upset over point 0.4. You know, in the scheme of things, it's like nothing. Exactly. You know, but, but in my mind, it's still, you know, a gain. But I it try is. to tell myself it is really nothing in the scheme of things. It, it, it isn't. And, 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 you know, you could have, and Chris, I had her do this the other day, because I think Chris mentioned that she got up in the morning, uh, weigh, weighed herself, but then went back to bed and weighed herself again. And she was up a pound. And I, I hear this all the time. So right away, I said, did you drink anything? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I had my vitamins, my water, whatever she said. And I said, that's why, you know, one bottle, one bottle of water will, will make you weigh a pound more if you drink that. And so I made her go do the experiment and, oh my goodness, yes. You know, it, that's not what we're measuring. We're measuring our progress, you know? So, so, you know, there's, that's where the communication is, is huge. Because had you not been texting me every day, you would have been like, this is crazy. I'm gaining weight. This diet isn't working. Um, when here you are now down, what, 15 pounds? Right. So, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So it is amazing. I'm real happy. <laughs> um, any other comments? I'll just comment that I've had two and a half pound swings on my weight from day to day. It's not unheard of for me to either have a two or two and a half pound loss or a two and a two and a half pound gain. And I've learned not to panic. I, I was, I was, uh, I was eight pounds heavier the day before the retreat than I am today. That's amazing. But, 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 but it had no, no, no rhyme or reason. Not, it was like, it went like eight, seven, six, five. I mean, explain that to me. Uh, but you, but I know better and I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I wore my Oompa Loompa outfit the day I was up, <laughs> but, but you know, it, you just know to deal with it and you just know to look at it and go, it's going to go down. Um, but it, it, that is the part. And I, and I'm looking at a lot of you. Um, oh, that, this is the other person I wanted to pick on or to, to, to talk, uh, Cindy Garpelli, do you mind, uh, uh, uh Scar Pity, did I say it wrong? Cynthia? Hello? There you are. One more. I, I'm, there you go. Could, you, could you share with everyone how your weight wasn't moving and you were getting super frustrated and you were sticking to the calories and you couldn't understand. And I went on and we worked it out because of the meals. Can you share that story? And what yeah, happened? I'm, I'm still not good with fitness, pal. Um, it still baffles me. So I just go to the, the, the recipes and do the portions and then it started to move and it was moving really, really good. I've had a couple of days where I kind of fell off, but I'm one of those an up a pound, down a pound, up two pounds, down a pound. Mm -hmm. but yeah I'm still working on it but it's been 16 pounds since I've joined with you which was in what June July yeah I mean that, 
that's fantastic. And you've traveled, you, you know, I mean, that, that is remarkable, remarkable. So, but you know, the the point was, is that you really saw that shift once we, yeah. mm -hmm, yeah. And I just got my binder back in order today too, as a matter of fact, it took me three hours, but I finally got it. So I could start charting my meals again, because kind of fell off the last couple of weeks since mm -hmm. I've been back from the trip and stuff and kind of following it during the morning and the afternoon, but this, the evenings were kind of throwing me off. So, the husband evening. was coming home going, can we have this tonight? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank but. you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Um, anyone else? Okay. So I have uh, one last thing. Oh, there's a hand up. Oh, Caroline. Yeah. Can we hand unmute up? her? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Caroline. Okay. Hi. Um, so my question is the last maybe four or five months, I've been reading up a lot about, um, <clears throat> you know, perimenopause and how it affects uh, weight gain. And, and I know you had said, and, and I remember hearing your um, podcast where you say that your metabolism is better now at 50 than it ever was before. Um, do you have different plans for people that are in perimenopause, you know, considering um, the increase in, in protein intake that's required or so, what do you do about that? Um, since I've gone through my functional uh, diagnostic training, um, that's really enhanced my learning on the whole meta menopause, perimenopause, uh, estrogen, estradiol, all that. Um, it has really uh, confirmed my belief in, in, in knowledge in uh, A, uh, there, in order for me to manipulate or change anything about uh, anyone's diet, I would first want to have them follow uh, the protocol, make sure that they are following it. So in other words, uh, I, I believe that the, the program itself if followed consistently, um, will work. Now, after uh, I see that uh, with consistent follow through, um, you know, me checking the log, um, you know, no, no variations, no uh, inconsistent eating. Um, if there's no movement in the scale whatsoever, um, at that point, I would intervene um, with either. Uh, some manipulation of the, the diet. I mean, there's a lot that I could do at that point, but I would first want to make sure that the plan's being followed. So, so in other words, uh, I wouldn't want to uh, change the magic that I know works and has worked with hundreds of, of people in that age group. Um, uh, and I have manipulated for those people as well. Um, more likely than not, that group of people that struggles, um, what gets them is the inconsistency. You know, they'll, they'll follow the program for three or four weeks, but then be inconsistent. And, and it needs to be consistent. So, so if, if, if you uh, have or, or have had a, a consistent six, seven, eight weeks of no weight loss with, uh, with data that I could, I could see, then I'd be able to probably give you better information on that. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Thank you so much for addressing that. I think yeah. it would be interesting if you did like a special Zoom seminar for that, because I'm just learning about this stuff now and how my body's affected. So I think that would be so interesting. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, Leslie uh, posted on Facebook, uh, uh, any Zoom suggestions, uh, I'm going to be creating a, a list. Uh, and that is a great one to do for sure. I think, um, did, did you add that one? I think that one was added. It is. It is on there. Yep. Yeah. It is. Um, interesting too, huge data on intermittent fasting and women and its effects on uh, estradiol, and estrogen and uh, how non-beneficial it is uh, to females in uh, uh, menopause. 
that are doing intermittent fasting. And that, that article I can send you because, because of the hormonal levels. So, so yep. the, the, the program as I have it is very keep hormonal levels balanced. Keep, you know, so, so basically what I'm saying is I've already included those facets into the program. Yeah. Um, anyone else? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so glad you're back. Okay, so my last thing. I got to fill it up with something. Can you see that? It's a get you fit glass, wine glass. But there's more. You see that? Oh, here we go. There's more. If you fill your wine right up to the top of the G, it's eight ounces. Awesome is that? Wait, 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 there's more. If you fill your wine up to the cross of the T, it's six ounces. So I have 150 of these. If anybody ever wants to buzz through Woodstock, let me know, you can have one. Uh, I have not figured out how to ship them. So I bought them for the retreat and they got here two days late. <laughs> so, so truly, if anybody wants one, um, let me know and I will uh, gladly give you one, but aren't they fantastic? Super cute. And they have measuring lines on them. Chris, are you listening? Chris? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, and you could be discreet about it. Like just hmm, my eight ounces. <laughs> so, all right, but I am gonna try and figure out how to ship them. Uh, Cause once I figure that out, then I will probably only charge shipping for them, so. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for joining. And uh, I look forward to hearing about all the Halloween candy you're not going to eat or just going to eat one of one. <laughs> all right, you guys. Enjoy your evening. And I will talk to you all in the morning. Good night. Nice. Thank you, Thank Thanks. you. Bye. 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 Bye.